We're going to be talking about functions and the different types of functions, particularly for this video, additive and proportional relationships. There's other types of relationships that go on, but we're just focusing on additive and proportional in this video. So additive relationships are when you're adding to or subtracting from the input, the input being the x value. Proportional relationships are when you're multiplying or dividing the input. So here's some examples just with equations. You've got two unknowns. Here's the input. You're adding four. Here we have two unknowns and you're multiplying the input by four. You could have two unknowns and you're subtracting the input by eight. You could have taking half times x times the input. You could have it this way. It's the same thing. You're just adding something or subtracting something from the x value. You could also have dividing the input by a number. So that's the fairly easy one. Most kids have no problem with that. The, where it gets challenging is the next one. When you're looking at tables and trying to figure out if it's additive or proportional, even if you know if it's additive or proportional, what's the rule? What are you doing to the input to get the output? Y equals something x or y equals x plus something. That's where it gets tough. So we're going to show you some tricks. For additive relationships, if you take each y and x, it's corresponding x. If you subtract the y minus its corresponding x, you're going to get the same number for each pair of each ordered pair. So I'm going to go ahead and go 6 minus 1 because 6 and 1 correspond. 2 minus negative 3 and 8 minus 3. If you understand your integer concepts, 2 minus negative 3 really means 2 plus 3. They're all going to work out to 5. So essentially, we're adding 5 to every x value, and we're getting our y value. So the rule in, in equation form would be y equals x plus 5 for this table. Over here for proportions, you're going to have not subtracting the y and x, but you're going to divide each y and its corresponding x. And they should all work out to the same thing. 5 divided by 1, negative 15 over 3, 15 over 3. They all divide out to a common number. In this case, they all divide out to 5. So in this one, you're not adding 5. You're multiplying each input by 5. So the equation that represents this rule is going to be y equals 5 times x. So now we're just going to look at some tables and figure out if it's proportional or additive, and we're going to figure out what the rule is, the equation that makes the table. So here's our first table, and we're going to look at uh, if we have 8 minus 2, negative 12 minus negative 3. They're not going to work out to the same thing, so it's not going to be additive. Let's see if they divide out to the same thing. So is it additive or proportional? Well, if one thing you'll notice here is I'm not doing the 0, 0. We'll talk about that in a moment. Um, I'm going to see if all the other pairings of corresponding, of ordered pairs, all work out to the same thing. 8 over 2, negative 12 over negative 3, they're all going to work out to a positive 4. When you have zeros like this, you don't try to divide them out. But we're going to double check that that is true once we figure out the rule here. According to this, they all divide out to 4, so that means that you're multiplying your input by 4. So it's going to be proportional. We're multiplying all of our inputs by 4. So y is going to be 4 times x. That's going to be the rule. We're going to go ahead and check out another one. So in this one, is it additive or proportional? Well, we would do some dividing and see that they're not going to divide out to the same thing. We're going to do some y minus x's. Let's see if those work out y minus x. So I'm going to go ahead and do negative 5 minus 2, negative 10 minus negative 3. Don't forget your double negative there. Negative 7 minus 0, negative 9 minus negative 2. So you'd remember that these two are going to become pluses. So negative 10 plus 3, negative 9 plus 2. They're all going to work out to negative 7. And so that means we're subtracting all of my x values. We're subtracting 7 from them. So the rule to make this, so this is going to be an additive relationship, and the rule's going to be y equals x minus 7. We're going to move on. 
Okay, so here's the table. Is it additive or proportional? 5 divided by negative 4 is not going to be the same thing as 3 divided by negative 6. So it's not going to be proportional. It might be additive. Let's double check. There are, once again, there are other types of relationships. We won't dig too much into those. This is probably going to work out to additive. Let's see. We're going to do our y minus x, 5 minus negative 4, 3 minus negative 6, 10 minus 1, and negative 1 minus negative 10. So we're going to, that would be actually 5 plus 4, 3 plus 6. They're all going to work out to 9. They're all going to work out to 9. So it's going to be an, we're adding them all, so that would be an additive relationship. So we're adding 9 to every x. y equals x plus 9. Okay, our next one. Is it additive or proportional? Um, let's see if they subtract off to the same thing. Negative 6 minus 2 would be negative 8. 9 minus negative 3 would be 12. So it's not going to be additive. It's probably proportional. Let's see if all of our y over x ratios work out to the same thing. So negative 6 over 2, check. 9 over negative 3. So I'm taking all my y values and putting them over the corresponding x values. And they all work out to one same number. They all work out to negative 3. So that means we're multiplying all of our inputs by negative 3, so it's proportional. Multiplying all our inputs by negative 3, that means y equals negative 3 times x. And we're going to go ahead and do one more. Here's our table. Is it additive or proportional? Let's try doing our y minus x. 5 minus 10 is negative 5. Negative 4 minus negative 8. That's not going to be the same thing. So it's probably proportional. Let's go ahead and see if our uh, y's over x's are the same. 5 over 10, negative 4 over negative 8. 6 divided by 12. 2.5 over 5. Now that can be a little bit weird, but let's see if it all works out. 5 over 10 in lower terms, negative 4 over negative 8 in lower terms, they're all going to work out to 1 half. So this is a proportional relationship. We're multiplying every x value by 1 half. So the rule for this function would be y equals 1 half x. And that's about it. Hope this helps. Best of luck to you.